Hi and welcome to a Studio One Six tip. When I want to use one of my favorite instruments, for example, Mai Tai, or it could also be Impact or Omnisphere or Contact Six, then all I need to do is to press a key to open the Find Command overlay and type Mai. And here you see that Add Mai Tai appears. That's a macro I have created. And now I just press Enter and I immediately have a new track with Mai Tai. Let's add Omnisphere. Type Omni, Enter, and here is Omnisphere. Or Impact XT, just press the key, type Impact, and here is my Impact XT track. Now I'd like to quickly add Pro EQ to my track. No problem, just press the key again, type EQ, and here is Pro EQ. If there are instruments or effects that you use all the time so that you like to recall them quickly, then here's how that works. Open the Studio One browser in case it's not open, then go into the Cloud tab and choose Presonus Exchange. That's a free platform for all Studio One users. It has nothing to do with Presonus Fear, so you don't need to be a Sphere subscriber. It's really free for every Studio One user. Okay, so double click on Presonus Exchange, then go into the search field and type Find Command. This shows you all my instrument and effects macros that I have uploaded to Exchange. And to download them, just click Install. Here it says Update because I already have them installed, but on your system it will show Install. And now you can go into the Help menu and see which is the shortcut for Find Command. On my system it's this lovely German special character. On your system is probably something like Ctrl K or Command K on Mac. And when you now press this key, it will open the Find Command overlay. And here you can type something like Mai Tai or EQ. If there are multiple macros that contain the words Mai Tai or EQ, then you need to use the arrow keys to find the one you want. But because Studio One is smart enough to prefer the commands that you have recently used, it will probably show it as the first search result next time. Now, if you want to have the same macros for other plugins, I could share the other ones as well, but this will probably not work on other computers because you might have them in the VST2 version or VST3 or audio unit, so it's better if you create them yourself. To do that, open the macro toolbar, then right click on any of the buttons and click new button. Now right click again and select assign and assign command. Then enter add Mai Tai, select it and click OK. Now right click again on this button and click Duplicate Macro. Now we have a second Mai Tai Macro. And this one we can right click again, a lot of right clicks today, and then we do Edit Macro. And here I just change all Mai Tais and for example enter Dune 2. And here I double click and change it here as well. This is the track name that we get for our new track. Then I change the actual instrument we want to have. And that's it, just click OK. And here you can say yes. Now I can delete these buttons again. Don't worry, this will only delete the buttons, but not the macros that are referenced here. And now I can just press my key again and enter Dune to get a new track with the Dune plugin. Please let me know in the comments if you found this video helpful and which kind of tutorials you like to see in the future. Also, please hit the like button and subscribe to my channel because in my analytics I see that most people that watch my videos haven't subscribed to my channel yet. By subscribing, you not only make sure that you don't miss any tutorials in the future, but you also support my work so that I can make more high quality Studio One videos. Thanks for watching and see you in the next video.